Uruguay's triumph in the 1930 World Cup marked their historic claim as the first ever champion, setting the stage for their enduring legacy in football. I am Raven Talks and let me tell you the story. Uruguay was chosen as the host nation for the tournament and their national team was ready to prove on home. The competition featured 13 teams, including powerhouse nations like Argentina and Brazil. The tournament kicked off on July 13, 1930, with Uruguay facing Peru in the opening match. The host started strong, defeating Peru 1-0 in a tightly contested battle. This victory set the stage for Uruguay's memorable run in the tournament. Uruguay's second match saw them face Romania. The host displayed their attacking prowess and won the game for 2-0. Leaving spectators in awe of their talent, Uruguay's forward line, consisting of legendary players. The final match of the group stage appeared Uruguay against Argentina. Team considered among the tournament favorites. The rivalry between the two South American nations was intense, and the clash had all the ingredients for an epic encounter. In a thrilling match, Uruguay emerged victorious, defeating Argentina for 2-2. The result sent shockwaves throughout the football world, as Uruguay had defeated one of the tournament favorites, and advanced to the knockout stage as the group winners. In the semi-finals, Uruguay faced Yugoslavia. The match was hard fought, but Uruguay's determination prevailed, and and they secured a 6-1 victory. The win propelled them into the final, where they would face Argentina once again. On July 30, 1930, the Estadio Centenario in Montevideo was filled to capacity as Uruguay and Argentina squared off in the first ever World Cup final. The atmosphere was electric, with both teams vying for glory and pride. Argentina took an early lead. With Colos Pucel scoring in the 20th minute, Uruguay quickly regrouped and equalized through Pablo Dorado. The match remained deadlocked at 1-1 until the final minutes of the game. With just minutes left on the clock, Uruguay's captain, Jose Nasotzi, led a relentless charge against Argentina's defense. In the 89th minute, Hector Castro unleashed a powerful shot. Finding the back of the net and sending the crowd into euphoria, Uruguay had turned the tide and took the lead with only moments remaining. As the final whistle blew, Uruguay emerged as the victors, defeating Argentina 2-1 and etching their name in football history. The Estadio Centenario erupted in celebration, with thousands of fans rushing onto the field to embrace their triumphant heroes. Uruguay's victory in the 1930 World Cup was not only a sporting achievement, but also a symbol of national pride and unity. The tournament showcased the immense talent and determination of Uruguayan footballers, forever cementing their legacy in the annals of the. The triumph also had a profound impact on the future of football. The success of the inaugural World Cup in Uruguay laid the foundation for the tournament's continued growth and global significance. It marked the beginning of a new era, where nations from around the world would gather every four years to compete for the prestigious title. Uruguay's triumph in the 1930 World Cup remains an indelible part of their rich footballing history. It was a remarkable journey that showcased the power of passion, skill and unwavering determination, the story of Uruguay. In the annals of football history, Uruguay's triumph in the 1930 World Cup stands as a testament to their indomitable spirit and enduring legacy. Their victory continues to inspire and remind us of the remarkable power of sport to unite nations and create lasting memories. Raven Talks was with you. See you in next videos.